up Simonix and welcome back to a new quick win. Today we're talking about image zooming with Ionic. So if you've used Ionic for a few years, you know that we first had the Ion scroll component, then we had the Ion slide component for this. And now Ion slides will be deprecated in the future. So we're gonna have to use another package. And this time we will again use Swiper, which we already used as an alternative to the Ion slides component to implement this functionality. What we're gonna do is we're gonna first build a little gallery of images where the user can swipe through the images. And on top of that, we will display a model with a stylish, blur, transparent background in which the user can zoom into the image. We will also take care of zooming from code in and out. We will use the swiper configuration for the zoom API to define different properties, the min ratio, the maximum ratio. And you're gonna see that it's actually super easy to implement a zoom functionality with Ionic. If you want to check out the full source code, link below the video for all Ionic Academy members. And you know what? If you're not yet a member of the Ionic Academy, go check it out right now. My place to help you with everything Ionic and build awesome Ionic apps. So let's do this today and build a cool zooming functionality with Ionic Angular using Swiper. Alright, so let's get started with our uh, image zoom. First of all, we're going to need a blank new application for this test case and we need one package which is Swiper. We've used this uh, before as an alternative to Ion Slide and we will use it once again to implement the zooming functionality. As well, we're going to need a little modal, so generate that in your project as well. And once you're done with that, we can head over to the global SCSS because to make Swiper work, we're gonna have to import some CSS. I will just simply import the bundle. Um, you can also just import the elements that you need. Uh, we can see this somewhere here on Swiper. Uh, I actually don't know where the docs for this are. Migration guide to Swiper. Um, so you could have the specific files included if you want to, but for now, we just gonna stick to everything. As well, if we wanna use Swiper, uh, we have to add the Swiper module to the page where we wanna use it. So in our case, we wanna use it in the home module. So we add the Swiper module from Swiper Angular and put it into the imports. And because we will actually also use this on our modal page, we can do this directly because I will most likely forget about this in the end, so let's do this. Okay, uh, global setup, both modules set up. Um, we can now head over to our homepage, and for this case, I simply added four images, one, two, three, four PNG. Uh, just take any image you want, uh, really it doesn't matter too much. Now let's do this and get started with a new swiper component. And the setup uh, always looks like this. We got Swiper and then we got the NJ template with a Swiper slide directive. Uh, we will simply iterate uh, let image of one, two, three, four, <laughs> making it really easy this time. And then we're just gonna put in an image into our slide, uh, which should be inside assets and then uh, whatever dot PNG. Okay, uh, we will also make this tappable and attach a click handler which will open the preview in which we will then be able to uh, zoom the actual image. Uh, so let's quickly add the function for the preview in here. Image and then everyone's happy and we should see uh, right now we got these nice little swipes. So that was maybe the fastest implementation of slides I've ever done. But it's really that easy with uh, Swiper. Now, if we wanna center this a bit more and add a bit more uh, styling, we can also put in something like this in our homepage SCSS to give it a bit of margin and background and make the image stand out, which now looks like this. On top of that, uh, we can now throw in as well a little configuration for Swiper. So let's do this and create a configuration in our homepage using the type Swiper options. So really like the typings of Swiper. Then we can say something like slides per view. That's really, I think that's my favorite uh, setting because it always gives this nice UI effect. 
Uh, now you can add something like space between, which looks pretty good, and centered slides, true. And finally, to use this, oh no, I don't want to disconnect my device. <laughs> Uh, to finally use the configuration, just pass it to the swiper element uh, config equals our config. And as a result, we have now changed the UI to something like this, which snaps with centered slides. And I think that looks pretty cool already. Now, that is the gallery we wanted to implement. And now we want to add on click something to open the modal in which we can then zoom this. I think it was previously called something like a light box with the jQuery. Uh, so for this, we need the modal controller, modal controller. And within our open preview, we're going to make this an asynchronous function so we can use await for the modal, await this dot modal controller, create. The component that we want to display is, of course, the image modal page that we generated in the beginning. <clears throat> um, then we want to also pass in the component properties, we will pass in our image. So we know which image to display in our uh, modal. And finally, uh, let's also add a custom CSS class that we call transparent modal. All right. And finally, we should maybe call modal present to actually show it. That might make sense. Now, with that, we're already uh, halfway through and we can heat over to our image model, which now looks like this. Well, that's pretty empty. So in the image model, uh, let's first of all define the input because otherwise uh, we don't have access to the image that is passed to this uh, component. Uh, that will be, I think it will be a string. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, let's do the HTML for this. Uh, we're gonna just use an ion content, no header this time. Swiper, we might put in a configuration as well directly because we will need that as well for our zooming. And now uh, let's create this also using swiper options. Let's make this an empty object in the beginning. And then we got the same setup like before, ng template swiper slide and within we have the image source using uh, well we can just do it quite easy like this today we haven't used this for a long time so let's use the bit different syntax always good to see different options as a result we should be able to uh, open this and display the image uh, yeah which is of course at assets image.png so this is our model and we can't close it right now and as well we can't zoom it so let's fix the first part which is closing the model so i'm going to bring in a footer uh with ion row uh with three buttons to zoom in and zoom out because that's what we wanted to programmatically do and also to close this uh close is pretty simple using the modal controller once again uh, we could even add, if we want to be cool, um, like a gesture on uh, swipe to close. That would be pretty cool as well. But that's maybe a topic for uh, another tutorial. So now we should be able to open it and close it. Yeah, we will make the background transparent. So then we will be able to actually see this. Uh, we also want to put the image into the center. So we're going to make the swiper height take up 100% and give a bit of margin to the ion footer element, which now looks like this. So as a result, uh, then we actually save this. Uh, I feel like there's an issue. Okay, yeah, zoom is not yet implemented. Let's quickly do this. Uh, zoom in will be a boolean and then we should be able to uh, we should be able to see the changes of our css shouldn't we what's wrong with you let's take a quick look why our css isn't working yet <clears throat> swiper covering the height of 100 percent um we might have to set our configuration no i actually don't think so 
Uh, um, actually, the most important part is missing anyway, because to make something inside Swiper uh, zoomable, the only thing you need to do is add the class Swiper Zoom container around your content. So we're going to put our image into this container and then it will hopefully be zoomable pretty soon. Uh, okay, that first of all fix the problem to center this. Uh, well, we still can't really scroll or zoom in because we still need to use another module in here. Also, this background is not really like I wanted to have it. Uh, we have, I think, added the class to our model. Um, Ion model. Yeah, transparent model. There it is. And to implement that, we can quickly head over to our global SCSS because um, if you want to style this, you have to do this at the root level of your application. So we're going to do this and add a transparent model class in here. And for the background, I'll now use something with a bit of transparency. So that should look hopefully pretty good. Uh, there we go. That looks already a lot better like a light box. And we can close this and that looks pretty uh, good. On top of that, I also wanted to add a little blur to the background. Just wanted to show you an option. So what you could do is use the part of the modal. So this is just, as you can see, attaching part to the parent element class here. And we want to target the part content and apply a little blur. So check out the difference. We've seen it like this. And now it looks like this. Actually pretty cool and simple way uh, to come up with a stylish overlay model. Now, um, back to our page. We still have no zooming functionality and we can do this now by first of all importing uh, swiper core. Nope, that was not the import. <laughs> swiper core and the zoom package from swiper. Now, this is the version 6 way of Swiper uh, of using things. So you can now go ahead and call Swipe Core Use with an array of modules that you want to use. For example, if you want to add pagination with the dots at the bottom, pagination would go in here as well. So we could directly import pagination from Swiper as well and use it in here. However, let me quickly show you. Um, it was It's not deprecated, but the module installation uh, should change from Swiper 6 from the way we just used to this. However, once again, this didn't work for me yet. I'm not sure if I'm the problem or <laughs> Swiper is the problem. Really, I tried a lot of different ways and I couldn't make it work like this with Angular. So uh, maybe we'll see something about this in the future as well. Be aware that the, the usage of use might change in future versions if you're now using Swiper 8 perhaps in the future. Okay, uh, on top of calling use zoom, we will also define inside of our configuration zoom true. Um, there are actually more ways to style or use zoom, but let's try this one first. Because now I should be able with a double click to go in and out of our model. And on the browser, it's actually not that spectacular because it really just works like this. Um, on a real device instead, let me quickly show you a preview right here. I could now instead do something like this and really zoom with my fingers just like you expect a zoom functionality. But still double tap would work as well and of course our logic works and I could select a different image and then zoom in as well. On top of that, I wanted to show you that you can also control this from code. And for this, you need to access the Swiper component as a view child. So let's add view child. And we want to use Swiper in here. Swiper, Swiper component. Nope, this time I actually want Swiper component. And with a view child, uh, we can now go into our zoom functionality. We're going to make this. Uh, no, we're gonna leave it like this. And we're gonna access the zoom property of Swiper. So to access any functionality from the API, you basically, I think, always need to access the Swiper reference. And then you got access to a lot of interesting things, also like um, scrolling next or previews, 
uh, would be possible. And there's also a zoom object. So this is really the object. And then you can call, or let's use our Boolean. If we want to zoom in, we will call zoom dot in. And otherwise we want to call zoom dot out. We could also enable or disable zoom from here. And what I wanted to show you as well in a second is first of all, uh, pressing the button in or out. Okay, that works great. Um, did we save swiper component, uh, swiper reference zoom? Let's check it out on the browser just to make sure we don't have any error in here. Uh, reading swiper reference. Um, yeah, probably because we haven't added the template reference to swiper. Make sure you add that to your swiper component or access it differently. But now it should be possible to zoom in and zoom out with click on that button as well. Pretty cool, right? Uh, finally, information for you. Uh, you can check out the Swiper Zoom API as well because there you will see the right parameters here. We only used zoom true, but in fact, you could also have an object like this with min ratio, max ratio, um, toggle, whatever, a zoomed class. So you could really do a lot more in that case. Let's give this a try and set the maximum ratio to something like 10. I have no idea how that will look like. Uh, yeah, so that means we can zoom in really, really fast. Um, min ratio, maybe we can also change the min ratio. Wouldn't that be funny? Yeah, I know what you think, Simon. That is funny for you. That's not really funny, but still I enjoy things like this. So let's do this. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I can use the min ratio and the max ratio. I really enjoy playing around with APIs like this. So as a result, we have now a nice light box. We have zooming with double tap works in and out. We can programmatically zoom and close and we still got the image gallery. So hopefully this component helps you in one of your next applications. All right, and that's it once again for today. I hope you enjoyed this quick win about adding the zoom functionality. I think it is really easy to add this to your application and it can be really helpful in some places. So this was not a huge tutorial about building crazy functionality. Really the most important part is adding this swiper container inside the swiper slide in which every content can then be zoomed. So not only image, perhaps also other elements. Once again, if you want to get the full source code, check out the link below the video for all Ionic Academy members. And of course, make sure to hit the like button and stay subscribed for more Ionic videos in the future. I'll catch you next week, like always. So happy coding, Simon.